Hello, welcome to Chapter 5, Bootstrap Grid Column Offset, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Bootstrap Grid Offset classes and how to offset the grid columns. And now, let us recall in the previous session what we learned. Okay, in the previous session, we learned that Bootstrap Grid System is going to provide us 12 columns and using that 12 columns, we are going to design the layouts for the web page. Okay, and also the bootstrap includes several grid classes to create layout for different devices like phones, tablets, desktops and larger devices and using these bootstrap grid classes we can create the layouts for different screen sizes like phones, tablets, desktops and larger devices and that's what we learned in the last session. Right now our intention is to learn what is bootstrap grid column offset. Okay, and you can observe the sentence you're telling like uh, when we use the bootstrap grid system to create the web layouts and we may want to move the grid columns to the right for alignment purpose. In the sense, layout is built of 12 columns of bootstrap grid system and due to some alignment purpose, I want to move the columns to the right. Okay, and how can I achieve that? And that can be achieved using this bootstrap grid column offset. And as uh, bootstrap provide us the bootstrap grid classes to create layouts for the different devices similarly bootstrap grid column offset classes are also available and using these classes i can make my columns to move right okay for the respective screens including extra small small medium and large devices okay this is what the bootstrap grid column offset is in the sense if you want to make your grid columns to the right for some alignment purpose and that can be achieved using these boots bootstrap grid column offset classes and to understand that very carefully now what i'll do is uh, and it's time to a demo and have some tasks to complete okay once we are come done with this task we'll understand completely what is bootstrap grid column offset okay what is the task the task is something like create two equal columns in the first row okay in the first row we want two equal columns and four equal columns in the second row okay and um, first let us complete this uh, the task what is in the first line and this is the subtask of this main task okay first let us create two equal columns in the first row and four equal columns in the second row okay now how do i how do i do that now i'll jump to my visual studio code visual studio and now i'm um, having a empty web project here and I'm i also have added the bootstrap files to it okay now let me add my bootstrap min.css to my web page okay and that is done and my task is I want to create two equal columns in the first row and four equal columns in the second row so what I'll do first I'll create a due class and another due class and to the out and to the outermost due class I want to okay I want to add the class container as per the rules of bootstrap grid system okay container and to the innermost due I have to add a class called row okay now this is the first row and let me create the other row also okay and let me add a class to it class is row okay as per the task what we have in the first row we want two equal columns okay let me take another due okay uh, and let me take another due here okay here I'm adding a content called and pro training okay and to this class as I said in the task we want in the first row this is the first row and in the first row we want uh, we want two equal columns so what I'll do is I'll call a class and I'll call call mid 3 okay similarly I'll copy this and I'll put it to the second row put it to the second uh, second column sorry not the second row in the first row we have two equal columns like call mid 3 and call mid 3 and the content is ank pro training okay coming to the second row I want like four equal columns uh, so what I'll do I'll copy this code again and I'll paste it here two three and four okay I have achieved this I'm having four equal columns right now okay and let me reduce my font size such that it will be visible okay now let me write some custom style to this uh, call mid 3 what I'll do here is uh, I'll add one style sheet to write the custom styles however I want to that column right click on it click add and you'll get a style sheet now you can write the custom styles I'll name this page as demo okay now let me write the custom styles to it okay and my class name will be dot customize 
the class name itself is customize and let me write the styles here I want the styles like margin to be of 3 pixel and it should have a padding of 10 pixel and the background color uh, it should be blue and since it's a dark background let me take my color of the text should be white and let me take the uh, height of the column minimum height let it be 300 pixel okay uh, then minimum height color background color padding okay everything is done fine then let me add like text align to the center such that it looks good okay and let me add the font size to be of 20 pixel okay and this is the custom styles what I've wrote um, let me add the class to my this text okay the class is customize okay and let me copy and paste to all the classes to the text where it is present control V and let me pull it down and let me add the styles control V okay I have other one class left let me add to this also okay now what I do I just completed my task while it is assigned the task is something like I want to create two equal columns in the first row and four equal columns in the second row and that's what I've done in my Visual Studio so you can observe here I'm having two rows this is first row and this is the second row the below one in the first row I'm having two equal columns and similarly in the second row I'm having like four equal columns you can observe here call mid three it is repeating four times okay now let me run this page and I've also written the custom styles to this uh, respective columns okay now when I run this page okay it's pushing this page to the browser okay once it renders on the browser let us see how it is looking okay and uh, since I've written the custom styles it looks good and better and you can observe at the left bottom of my page uh, the build has started and once it is ready it will be pushed to the browser okay and let's wait for that okay it's been started the build has succeeded you can observe here now it's pushing that page to the browser okay and my browser is Chrome let's wait for that once it is done it's taking me to the browser right now okay it's been executing here you can observe let us see how it renders okay but the styles is not applying okay let me see what is the problem the problem is I got to know like I have not added the style sheet what I defined okay that was the problem let me open my solution explorer and let me drag and drop the style sheet what I have added here okay now when I go back to my browser and when I refresh it you can observe this is the custom styles what I wrote you can observe here okay I'm having like two equal columns on to the left sorry on the first row and four equal columns on the second row now let me go and minimize the minimum height the minimum height should be of let it be 200 pixels such that it looks good let me come back and let me refresh okay this is what the output what we, what we expected in the sense we achieved the task the task is I want to create the two equal columns in the first row and four equal columns in the second row and that's what the code what we wrote is rendering here on the browser okay two equal columns in the first row and four equal columns on the second row okay this is the main this is the only the part of the task what we are done now we we have left with the other part like what is the next part like next task what we are going to do in the sense the subtask will make you understand what is bootstrap grid column offset in the sense what is the first task task here in the sense the first task is center the two columns in the first row keep in mind we have to center the two columns in the first row in the sense uh, I want to bring these two columns to the center okay how do I do that okay in the sense I want to push this column here and this column to this place how do I do that then okay we have to use the bootstrap grid column offset in the sense now I want to move this column here so I'm going to write the bootstrap grid column offset classes to this first column okay how do I write it it's very simple this is my first column so I'll come here and I'll specify call mid hyphen offset okay how many columns I have to move okay each part is having three columns inside it so I have to move it by three spaces in the sense three columns so call mid offset three okay now when I do this and when I refresh my 
page you can observe here these two columns are shifting okay by three columns and this is the task what I wanted to do and I've achieved it in the sense center the two columns in the first row okay and I've centered it beautifully you can observe here these two columns were at the left this first column was at the left and it was this column was lying immediate to it okay now these two columns are being pushed to the center and how did I do that okay and I did that using the bootstrap grid column offset okay and that's what the task I have achieved it and coming to the second task I want what I want to do is I want to create the three column gaps between the first column and the second column in the first row okay in the sense let me go back and let me remove this okay and let me come back and let me refresh this page this is my original thing what I add and the second task tells you like you I want to create a three columns gap between the first and the second columns in the first row in the sense I want to create a three column gaps between these two columns okay in the sense I want to push this to this place such that I'll get a three column gap how do I do that I'll go to the second column here then I'll tell like call mid of set of how much okay of three now when I save this and come back and re refresh my page you can observe we achieve the task what we whatever we want in the sense we want a gap of three columns between the first column and the second column and that's what we are having here we are having a three column gap here okay and that's what that was the task and final task is I want to create a six column gap between the first and the second columns in the first row okay now currently we have a three columns if I want a six column gap in the sense I want to move to this corner this column here so in the sense what I have to specify I have to specify to this column like call mid offset 6 such that it moves here okay currently we have only three gap three column gap if I want a six column gap I have to specify like call mid offset 6 to this column so let me go and do that okay instead of three what I have to do I have to specify six let me come here and let me refresh the page and let me press F5 okay you can observe the task is I want to achieve the I want to achieve the uh, six column gap between the first and the second rows in the first row second columns in the first row okay that's what I've achieved here I'm having a six column gap three column and three column three plus three is six okay I'm having a six column gap between this first and the second column and that's what the usage of bootstrap column offset bootstrap grid column offset classes okay and that's what we learned in this session I hope you understood what is bootstrap grid column offset okay thank uh, and finally thank you for listening have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Lang Pro Training and also you can like our Facebook page, Facebook page visiting these URLs and we are also on Twitter and for further references we can refer our websites and we are on LinkedIn too. And not uh, last but not the least, uh, please give the feedback to the video what you are watching. Okay, thank you.